Hey guys, welcome back. This is day 21. So this is going to be my week three keto update and I have some kind of weird and also somewhat exciting news to tell you guys. So 21 days in and I have lost 5.2 pounds, which is not huge compared to what a lot of other people have lost, but wait until you see the before and after pictures. Because this is really going to be a vlog that's going to show you that like, looking at the scale as your only measurement is just not accurate. So this week I kind of played around a little bit with my macros. So there were certain days where I would eat higher protein, higher fat, higher carbs, and my weight was kind of all over the place this week. I probably could have had a bigger weight loss, but it's just more important to me right now to just kind of tweak my macros and play a little bit. Um, but in the next two weeks, I'm really, I think I've kind of found my like sweet spot. So now I know what I'm gonna do and then my prediction is that I will see pretty substantial weight loss over the next two weeks. But guys, I've also started intermittent fasting and so I started doing two bulletproof coffees every day. So I'll have one at about 7.30 in the morning and then another one around about one o'clock in the afternoon. And guys, seriously, I have been able to not eat and, and then I'll work out, right? So I work out at like around two and then I'm breaking my fast at about three o'clock with like two hard boiled eggs and then about 5.30 or six, I eat my huge meal. So accidentally, I've kind of been doing the one meal a day outside of, you know, obviously the bulletproof coffees and the hard boiled eggs, but my hunger is like almost non-existent, which is super weird. So some of the other kind of strange things that I've noticed, so my hair, I'm actually getting ready to go have it colored this morning. Um, so it looks kind of bleh, cause I haven't washed it in four days. And leave in the comments below if this has happened to any of you guys, but here are two things that I have noticed for sure that since I started, especially the intermittent fasting side of it, well, I guess it's bulletproof fasting because I'm not eating food, but I am drinking the bulletproof coffees. Guys, look, I mean, four days and my hair would normally be so greasy. I'd be blinding you guys with the shine, but as you can see, yeah, it's a little bit oily, but nothing like it normally would be. So again, leave it in the comments below if that's something you've noticed. I'm definitely aware that that is something that does not normally happen to me. Normally the day after I wash my hair, it is hashtag nasty. So that's why my hair is almost always up like in a messy bun if I'm not washing it that day. Second weird thing that happened, and by the way guys, when I trained yesterday, I was training in a, ooh, hair is crazy. Um, I just got back from the gym, but I did wanna let you know that today was the first day that I trained in a fasted state, but I had not eaten since last night at 6.30, and when I started working out, it was 1.30, so that's 19 hours fasted, and guys, I just killed my workout. Like, I definitely did not feel a dip in performance at all, so I am super excited about that. Just had Here's to a weird that. thing. I am not sweating at all when I work out, and I'm putting the same workout that I previously put in which is a grueling and intense workout. And don't get me wrong, I do not smell good after this workout, but I am not like dripping sweat the way I normally am. So that's super weird to me too. But my, my weight, like you'll see, I'm gonna um, show you a little picture right here. And in that picture, what I was doing was I was capturing every day, my macros, my calories, um, and then what the progress was the day after. And you'll see my weight was like going up, down, up, down, up, down. And a lot of that again is because I was kind of like tweaking with my macros and playing with them a little bit. Um, but yeah, still I lost 1.8 pounds this week for a total loss in 21 days of 5.2 pounds, which puts me slightly closer to, you know, my goals. So I still have like another 15, maybe 20, we'll see, um, of pounds that I want to lose. But guys, there's no way that I'm going to stop doing keto at this point. I have so many of my friends and people that follow me on social media that are now doing keto as a result of being like, what is Rafaela doing? Like, what is keto? Um, and so that's exciting and that motivates me. Um, if you guys are doing keto, definitely leave your progress or concerns or whatever down in the comments below. I love interacting with you guys. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you a whole bunch of before and after pictures and they're pretty good. So stay tuned for that. Real quick right here, I'm just going to show you. This is me weighing in every morning. And I did notice around day 16-ish that I was like 
carb starving and I am definitely at a place in my life where I listen to my body. So I was like, okay, we need to eat some more carbs. So I ate a bunch of um, like more asparagus and some peanuts and things that I wouldn't normally eat. Um, so my carbs went up really high one day and then I felt great the next day, couple days. So I think, and I've seen some stuff about this, every 10 to 14 days, you do kind of need to do a, like a carb refeed, but that does not mean, you know, blow it through the roof and go to 200 grams. I think I had 70 grams versus, and again, they were all from pretty natural sources. So be careful about that. Um, but I did feel loads better in the days after, but energy has been amazing. Sleep's been amazing. Mental clarity is just, I mean, I feel like I'm living in like a 20 year younger version of my body. And so guys, let me show you some before and after pictures. So this is nine weeks ago and then today. And this one is six weeks ago and then today. And then finally, this one is three weeks ago and today. So as you guys can see, I mean, the scale 5.2 pounds, you know, that's not a huge difference, but look at what's happening, like body-wise, you can see that like my arms are leaning out like under here. I mean, it's just, I'm just sharing this with you guys so that you know, like, hey, just keep going because there is progress, whether, whether you don't see it in the inches when you measure yourself or you don't see it on the scale, but if you can see it visually, who cares? Because aren't we really all worried about what, people can see what we can see in the mirror. I don't walk around with a number right here that says, this is how much I weigh. I walk around in this package. So if this package is looking better, I don't care what my measurements are. I don't care what the scale says. So just something to think about. And my final point that I wanted to share is, and this is just for me, something that I have noticed. I know that I like probably, you know, every woman and maybe some men on this planet, I hid from my weight basically for the last three years. I didn't want to weigh myself. I certainly never would have shared what my weight was with, with my, you know, anybody, my social media following, my significant other, nobody. It was like the world's best kept secret, you know? Um, and I think a lot of people feel that way, but let me tell you what happened. The minute I started sharing with you guys, number one, accountability, right? When you know what the problem is, you know what they say, what gets measured gets moved. So, and you know, there are a hundred ways that you can say that, but knowing what that number was and knowing that I put it out there into the universe and knowing that that was not the number that I wanted forced me to move forward. And suddenly, you know, as I shared with you guys day after day, I was less afraid of the number and more just like, Hey guys, I'm on this journey, like, you know, gazillions of other people. And this is just sort of my progress. This is what's happening. And it was very freeing in a way where it was like my body and my mind was like, okay, let's, let's get rid of this weight. This is not where you want to be. I don't know if any of you watch any of my vision board vlogs, but part of this weight loss journey is on my vision board is, you know, me at my ideal weight three years ago. And I was very lean and very toned when I was training for bikini bodybuilding. And I want to get back to that. So all of this is me feeding into that vision board and and say okay here's kind of like where i want to be and here's where i'm at but i guess my point in that long ramble was when you face where you are the chances of you moving towards where you want to go go up exponentially because i can't sit here and you know gaff off and and like screw off and be like oh let me have you know all this these carbs or these 10 extra drinks or whatever because i know that y'all are watching and you know what's this girl's progress going to be is she going to go the distance so i'm going to go the distance i'm going to see y'all in my week four update and i might have a couple different things coming to you throughout the week because i was in a pinch the other day and i had to go to the dollar store i was taking my daughter and her friend shopping for her birthday and I was starving and out of food. So we went to the dollar store and I did find a few things there that were pretty keto friendly, which shocked me. And of course, you know I stocked up on them. So I think I'll have a video coming out this week about you know keto at the dollar store if you guys are interested in that because um, they were all actually really, really tasty. Um, but outside of that, I will see you guys in week four. Again, don't forget to um, leave your comments and questions down in the section below. And if this is valuable and you want to stay with me on this journey, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribing and turning on that little bell so you can receive notifications when I upload my new vlogs. And I'm going to say the same thing that I say every single week because I say it to myself every single day. Do me a favor, 
don't quit and just keep going. I'll see you guys in week four. Bye. I'm doing my uh, day, I guess this is 21 update. So here we go. I don't know. You can see any progress. I mean, my inches are definitely like coming down. It's not as fast as I would like, but it is certainly happening. So I'll try to put um, a clip of the first one here if I can find it. But we're definitely, we're definitely leaning out. Okay guys, as promised, here are some pictures that I just wanted to show you a couple, you know, progress pictures. So this is from yesterday and today. And you can see definitely progress is being made, especially in my like my arms or on my jawline. My waist is getting much more narrow. Um, and then these little gems are, this is from five or six weeks. This one's five weeks ago, sorry. So here is five weeks ago and you can see, like it was, it was not, it was not great. Um, and then here is three weeks ago. And guys, I'm not showing you this because I'm trying to make you guys go, oh, you were not in good shape. I'm showing you this because so, how important it is to take your progress pictures because it does happen. It may not happen quickly, but it is happening. And so this is three weeks ago and then today. And so you can see there's a pretty substantial difference. And then this final one, this is me three years ago at my lean weight um, in the middle nine weeks ago and on the far right yesterday. So kind of showing you where I'm trying to get back to. That's it. See you guys in the next one. Bye.